My name is Nathan Keen, and on social media I go by Nathan the Cat Lady. And the big project I'm working on this week is I partnered up with Beagle Freedom Project. They actually purchased all of the land, the building, and the animals away from a testing lab. So it was a facility that was testing on beagles, testing on cats, and they purchased all of the animals and all the land and everything, so we got 180 beagles and 80 cats. So I actually first worked with Beagle Freedom Project a couple months back. They reached out asking if I would help them post a couple of cats. They said, we're getting some cats from a testing lab, but since our following is mainly dog people, the dog people never share when we have cats. And so I was like, yeah, sure. So I, I put them up, they were, seemed wreckable. We got all the cats into fosters and adopted. And then they reached out to me, uh, man, I'd say a month ago and said, hey, we were working on something big. We just purchased this, uh, this area and all these animals. Do you want to come out and just be there for the press and help you know, promote it on your social media? And I was like, uh, can I do more? Like, I, I kind of want to, I want to do more. I mean, this is such an amazing thing to do. I don't think anyone's ever done this. And they were like, yeah, you know, we'll take any help we can get. So yeah, that's, that's kind of where it all started. First day showing up here, it was hard. Oh my gosh, look at this. I was surprised how much it hit me. I mean, just seeing how bad the living conditions were for a lot of these animals. It's kind of a toss up. If they're outside, they're freezing, they're cold, their water's frozen over, but they have space and some of them have friends. If they're inside, they're in a small kennel, there's poop and pee all over the floor. They're lonely and like, they are just craving attention. Same with the cats. I mean, you can hear them crying for attention in the back right now. They're just, they're so desperate for attention. We are going to be building drywalls, building a wall. I'm going to be putting my uh, handyman skills to the test this week. But I have a tool belt, so it's fine. As long as you have a tool belt, you can build anything. I think if you take those boards off the top, you could probably just take the whole wall down. And then, like I said, I'm pretty sure that's just those red iron beams. Okay. Where that is. I mean, we could take it off and look. The tin, once you unscrew it, should just come okay. you know, off a sheet at a time. So. That's, gotcha. That's so basically good. held together with like bubble gum and shoestrings. So. Okay, curveball, I like it, I like it. So we're just gonna need like all the two by fours in Oklahoma and some screws and some tools. And honestly, I don't even know how much wood we're gonna need. I'm probably just, I think it's faster to just buy as many, a bunch of two by fours and buy a bunch of, I probably won't do the drywall yet, but just, cause if we're doing, cause we're gonna have to rebuild that whole wall. So I might start with this section. Okay. Okay, we got a game plan, kind of. I gotta go see the beagles. I think we gotta close for that, yeah. I guess the first feeling I felt when I, I saw all of them was just, I mean, it was just pure empathy. It just like, man, I wish I could do more than I already have. But I mean, also also grateful that they, they're now having a better shot because I got a lot of amazing brands to throw in on this. And Beagle Freedom Project is amazing. They have an amazing team. So I'm relieved to know it's gonna get better, but it's still hard seeing, cause it's, it's still not great. We got a long way to go. So we're outside now. This is where all the outside beagles have been kept. And it was getting down to I think one degree out here. And they, until Beagle Freedom came, they had no toys. And even now when they get toys, they don't know what to do with it apparently, and they're eating them. Um, and they've already had to take one to the vet from eating the toys because they don't know what they are. But they get these little igloos and an electrified fence, and that's all they've known. It's pretty messed up. Oh my gosh, so the uh, smell is overwhelming in here. And there's no air, there's no vents, there's no windows. There's not even, it's not even AC. There is a fan on a six minute timer. Cause God forbid, you know, you use too much electricity to help these dogs. The smell is horrible. But there's no air, and like literally until the fan got turned on and it's gonna shut off in five minutes. We gotta get these doors open. They're all caged in, right? Oh, perfect. Oh, I know, right? Um, the entire facility, I know, actually. I know. Seeing cats in cages with 
nothing. They had a platform, a food bowl, and a water bowl. That's it, no enrichment whatsoever. The dogs, they have little igloos, I guess, and water, that's it. There's nothing, and it's just, it seems so cold to me that people could let them live in those conditions for a long time. All right, well, we have seen the space. I've taken some measurements. We are now on our way to Lowe's because I need to buy a bunch of tools and two by fours and nails because I'm gonna be building walls and putting up drywall and everything so we can start building this cat cafe so we can give the cats more space to run around so they're not in cages. Um, luckily, a bunch of my brands donated not only supplies, but they actually gave funds for me to uh, buy wood and tools and supplies and stuff as well. So I'm super grateful. But now, now the work begins. We got to play with puppies, but now it's it's time to actually start building. So wish me luck. We're basically doing a full reconstruction of the space and starting from scratch with tools, everything we have to buy. All right, so we're about to just fill this thing up, which is gonna be fun. I like it, I like it. We're starting from scratch. You guys are about to get full-blown uh, contractor Nathan here. I also have to build stairs for pigs, which is not something I've ever done. This is the definition of winging it right now. Three of those, we're, we're doing great, we're thriving. Top choice prime, <laughs> no, no, no. There we go. Okay, regular old. Regular two by four, these are two by fours, yeah? Okay, so we're gonna need, I don't know how many of those, so we'll make sure we get some of those. Oh my gosh, get my workout this week. Tools. Nobody uses nails anymore. Screws, metal, oh, we are gonna need metal screws. These ones come with the, uh, the star bit, correct? Yes, okay, there it is. This is a lot of stuff. <laughs> We are halfway through the list. Okay, heat gun, drill bits, clamps, pliers. Okay, a lot of the stuff we're gonna need is gonna be down here. No, where's the bundle? They have a bundle, we just gotta find the bundle. This has the power, is this the same one? This is not the same one. They tried to jip me out of a sander. Oh, shut up. It thinks I'm stealing. It got its feelings hurt. A chop saw? You guys only have DeWalt? Yeah. Okay. Then DeWalt it shall be. Um, I need a, let's see, I need a multi-tool, like a, a letterman, um, some clamps. 21, 17. These will do. Get two of these guys. Okay, and then pencils. Cool, perfect, thank you. So a heat gun, 20 tubs, and I'm gonna grab, uh, oh, crowbar, that's what it was. Cause I don't know if they use nails on the old one that we're removing, so just in case. Eh, let's get the big one, it's two bucks more. So yeah, this heat gun and 20 plastic tubs and we're good to go. So, I mean, we're using them as, as litter, cat litter boxes. Those would be perfect. How much are those? Are these are those these down here? And these are 15 a pop? So, we're leaving with half the store, guys, so we're on the right track. We're doing, we're doing great. I do, ooh, I do need pliers. I'm Lowe's MVP, guys. $2,014.70. Woo, let's do it. That's, that's impressive, look at this. Woo! Drop that at the bar tonight. This is uh, this is quite the haul. I can honestly say I've never spent this much at home uh, at Lowe's before. Spare the rental car a little bit. Ah. Ah. For the record. No shout out to any of these tool brands because I reached out to all of them for help and none of them did. I said, hey, you want to save the lives of a bunch of cats and a bunch of beagles? And they said, no, we eat dogs and cats for breakfast. I was like, wow, it's a bold claim. Come on, smart car, be smart. All right, let's go build a sanctuary. The first thing before I even got here, uh, what I did is I reached out to all of my sponsors that I've worked with over the years. You know, I've been a content creator for six, seven years now. So I've worked with around like 120 brands and I reached out to, I think 50 or 60 of them and 19 came through. Maruva sent 19 pallets of cat and dog food. Catalyst Litter sent two pallets of cat litter. But I mean, we had 
cat toys, dog toys, leashes, collars, water fountains, like anything you could think of, uh, brands came through and started donating to help me out here this week, which was amazing. Anyway, so once I got here, uh, they showed me the, where they're gonna be the cat cafe, which we're gonna have a space for all the cats to be in an open area. People can come in, they can have a coffee, they can possibly adopt, all the cats will be up for adoption. And they agreed to name it after me. It's gonna be Nathan's Cat Lady Lounge. And they made a big old poster for me, which is super amazing. Yeah, so we just left Lowe's and we bought a lot of stuff. Again, if it weren't for my brands that like donated, I couldn't have done what we just did. We just spent over two grand on tools, lumber, drywall. Um, I'm really excited to see how this goes. I've never taken on a project this big building wise. Uh, like I was a handyman and carpenter, so I built like small walls and you know, I've built little closets and stuff, but I've never actually built like a full uh, full wall with steel beams. I'm gonna have to drill into steel, which I don't know how that's gonna go. But I'm excited though. This is, this is a pretty cool opportunity, so. First step, that entire wall is just a temp wall. It's only held up with a few nails and it's all styrofoam. And no. so we have to destroy this entire wall and rebuild it from scratch. Let's go. Oh, actually, you know what? I need gloves because I'm gonna hurt myself. <laughs> and then you're... Oh yeah, there we go. What you like to see right there. One of the things they had to do is in this space, they had this big flimsy wall. It was a terrible wall. It was like styrofoam and it was kind of hanging from a beam. And then they needed a space, a wall down. I used to be a handyman and carpenter, so. Day one, I went and bought um, a lot of tools, everything I was gonna need, a chop saw, drills, saw, like anything. And I've been building the walls. I had to rip down the other two walls and then I'm actually building frames and drilling into steel and I gotta do all this paneling. I need a drill. They didn't secure the bottom. Actually, it makes my life a lot easier. Actually, I only really need to cut just this last little piece. And I'll probably just use a, just a blade down. Again, I didn't know what the space was until today. So I'm, I'm not seeing everything yet. So that's a good call. When we go to build that, we'll have to build a frame. Um, yeah, we'll build a frame across and just have it run into there. That way it hits all spaces. So basically these screws are supposed to go through metal. This is very heavy metal. So if this doesn't go through, we are up the river without a paddle, basically. <clears throat> We're gonna have to go to plan B. And everybody cross your fingers at home. Thank you. I didn't realize I had to rip down an entire wall, which took uh, over a day to tear down because there was a lot of parts. And then building the new wall, I didn't realize I was gonna be drilling into steel, which that took a couple hours to figure out the right bits because I kept breaking drill bits and Plus just being one person, you know, everything takes so much longer when it's one person. If I leave my drill on the ground and I climb the ladder, then I have to go back down and get the thing, just holding things up and balancing. It's just, everything just took way longer, but I mean, we've, I finally kind of got a rhythm to it. So we are taking this wall down because it, this was just a temp wall for them. So it's not actually attached to anything. It's just pinching the beam and there's like one screw in the bottom, but everything else is just, it's just barely sitting up there. Like this part has a, one screw into the concrete, which is good. It's what you want, kind of. Oh, look at that. That's a great screw placement. <laughs> you know it's good when you can take them out with your hands. <laughs> but we need to take this whole thing down. We're gonna go studs every 16 inches, like you should, and then uh, rebuild it. So yeah, then we can actually put up drywall and make it nice for the kitties. And But it's gonna be a lot of work. I'm a one-man team right now, so <laughs> we'll see how much I can get done. This whole thing's about to come tearing down. Power tool's quiet. I was expecting like, it was just like. <laughs> you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna cut that off. That's what I'm gonna do. I ain't playing around anymore. You're in my way, you get cut off. That's the new rule. Yeah. There we go. Woo. There we go. We have wood being delivered tomorrow, and we took down this entire wall. 
uh, because it just it wasn't built properly, it wasn't very secure. So tomorrow I start construction on building this whole wall and then a dividing wall. We're gonna drywall it, we're gonna paint it, we gotta paint the ceilings, um, we gotta hide the beams. But ideally, in a perfect world, we'll get this whole area painted, um, cleaned, ready, and then we can start letting the cats in here. So day one, but I'll be back bright and early tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. I've got some big visions for this place. Um, I wanna have a big open space. We're gonna have a door that's gonna lead back all these caged areas. We're actually gonna build like privacy condos for the cats. So like ones that maybe wanna be private or don't get along with other cats. They're gonna have that. All their litter boxes will be back here. We'll have passageways to and, for, uh, to and from. And then uh, we're gonna have a big entryway with a big window and coffee. I'm gonna sell merch here. They, uh, they're gonna let me sell my Nathan the Cat Lady merch, which I'm really excited about. Um, and then on the dog side, we're gonna have a big play area. They're gonna have a dog run and they're gonna have a big open field that's fenced off. I mean, there's so, so much work to be done. Uh, I'm gonna be out here a lot this year, I think, just coming back and forth and helping build where I can, keep getting sponsors, uh, keep raising funds, um, which has been huge. And the, my followers have been really big on that one. We've already raised almost $12,000 in five days on my page alone, just for my following, which has been awesome. All right, well, we just got our Catalyst Litter donation. We got two pallets of litter coming, which is a great start. This is awesome. Uh, that's gonna, especially being Catalyst Litter, it's gonna last a while. This is awesome. Oh, okay. Um, I'll probably have one of them. I can sign. Pulling through Catalyst, I appreciate it. Back to my wall. <laughs> we got our first bolt in. Only took like five drill bits, like an hour, but we got it. You hang it from the middle of the beam and it dangles and it'll tell you exactly where the middle of the board needs to be on the ground. So this, once it stops moving, will point to the exact middle. Almost there, gotta wait till it's completely still. Got our Lowe's delivery coming in. So all of our drywall and all the stuff to make the, uh, the pig stairs, cause the pigs have like a ramp that they won't use cause they slide. So I'm gonna build stairs for pigs today, which is a sentence that I don't think anyone has ever said. So I'm excited about that. If you're watching at home and you wanna help, some of the big things, obviously donating money because this is a huge project and a lot of animals. And the more money you donate, the more teams we can hire to build, to you know, do fencing outside, electrical, like there's so much going into it. And if you don't have the money, if you live in Oklahoma or know somebody, they need volunteers. Even if it's as simple as sitting in a cage with a dog and petting it and loving it and letting them know it's all okay, that is huge. Uh, just giving them affection that they desperately need and enrichment. Because right now we can't even, like we have a bunch of dog toys but they don't know how to play with toys. They eat them. They eat them and then they have to go to the vet because they swallow them whole. So uh, just giving them that enrichment and showing them how to play, showing them how to have fun, uh, that'll be huge for getting them adopted someday. I know you were bored of sitting in there, so let's get you out here, you know? <laughs> this is all about keeping it exciting for you, Cruz. So one of the days uh, they asked if I could build pig stairs because they had a, a barn that they brought six pigs from Los Angeles and they had a barn with these really rickety ramps and the big mama pig will not go down the ramp and she needs to be able to go out and graze. So they asked if I could build pig stairs, which I've never actually done before. Well, hello, piggy pig. Hello, I'm building you a ramp. All right, so these pigs uh, also came from a testing lab, a uh, different testing lab. Hi, hi, baby, so pretty. And they uh, got them this awesome barn, but they can't, uh, one of them ha can't go down the ramps. It's too steep. Uh, so I am going to build stairs so they can hopefully use stairs. I've never built pig stairs before, but I don't think anyone has. So this will be cool. <laughs> you don't get to, you're not helping very much. This is my helper. You're not helping very much. You guys are not helpful at all. Piggy pigs. Okay, you see, that's not, now stop, ah. drop it, drop it. Come on, thank you. You too, lady love, get over here. Come down the ramp. Yes, please, thank you. Sassy, and now we dig. Yeah, 
Yeah, kitties. Little picky pickies. Uh, okay. So. What she was, I was like, something, something. Yeah, no, I agreed. I'm gonna have to hammer that off, aren't I? Yep. I'm gonna have to go get the sledgehammer. Hammer! I know roughly what I'm doing. I know I was a handyman and carpenter for two and a half years. So I know a little bit about a little bit. Um, you know, I know how all the tools work. I know what roughly things should be, but a lot of the stuff I'm like things I'm doing, it's going to take a lot of improv like this, like pig stairs that doesn't exist like wider stairs. So like, it's not like you can buy, like, um, they have little wood kits you can buy to make stairs at like Home Depot, but it won't have, they won't be wide, they'll be like narrow steps. So it's like, I'm kind of having to just wing it and build it custom for this. So yeah, I know what I'm doing, but I would not consider myself a pro if that, if that clears things up. But since we don't have a pro, that's what we have. I'm cheaper. And by cheaper, I mean free, so. going faster now that we got like one stair done, you know? He said most likely jinxing himself for unseen issues. Yeah. Drool all over my toes a little bit. Oh, it's a camera. <laughs> That's how long it is. Hey, excuse me, ma'am. Hey, ma'am. That's not yours. Just waiting for somebody in the comment section complain that piggy is a derogatory term of pigs. Okay. Yeah, like I think they should, they should be able to walk up this, yeah. So we got three stairs in. But yeah, that should be it. I think we're almost there. One more. And then I gotta fill it in with cement. Or thanks for opening the bag, if that's what that was for. You are just determined to eat that concrete, aren't you? Okay. Hi. Hi. I've never built stairs before, so those look pretty good. Let's uh, go put all the other tools away. And then by the time, it says that sets in 30 minutes, so I should be able to come back and put dirt in the holes so the pigs don't get hurt. Yeah, we got pig stairs. This looks pretty good. I'm gonna start filling it in and call it a day. So uh, the steps might be a little high, but it seems to be working. I think they just have to get used to using steps. I don't think I've ever used steps before. Uh, so that was kind of a fun project. Went to Home Depot and just grabbed way too much wood because I had no real plan and spent the day trying to build pig stairs with a bunch of pigs stealing my tools and knocking over supplies because they wanted to help. Yeah, just one for the bucket list that I have can now say I've built pig stairs for pigs. Okay, it is day three and it is extremely cold outside. Um, 
pig stairs are done. I have to start working on the wall, but first things first, I gotta go visit uh, the puppies outside who are, I'm sure are freezing their butts off too, but I gotta go say hi. Come here, come here. Oh my goodness, come here. I got two hands, come here. <laughs> you guys are so crazy. You're so crazy. Oh man. Oh, look at you. Hi. Yeah. I know, baby. Oh, there's my girl. Can you hear her? There's my girl. Girl, hi, baby. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. Come here. I know. So someone apparently sent in an application for this one already because of my post the other day. So we'll see. Come here. Yeah, come up here. It's okay. I absolutely want to get every single one of these animals adopted. As cool as this cat cafe and sanctuary is going to be, they're better off in a home and they will not be living their best life until they're in a home. So if you have room for a cat, if you'd like to adopt a cat, if you'd like to adopt a, an adorable beagle, fill out the application on their website. You can adopt nationwide right now, you know? They, they do a thorough background check, but anywhere, anybody that you're like, hey, I think my friend wants to adopt a beagle, reach out to them, you know? These animals have had it rough and they deserve, uh, they deserve a fresh start. It is freezing out here. And all they have is these little igloos, which I don't even think there's blankets in these igloos. And they're just, they're shivering. I'm shivering. Like, I've only been out here 10 minutes, and I, this is too cold. So, um, yeah, we need to start getting them blankets. And I know, baby, get them, get them inside. This is, this is too much. There's thousands of ways you can help out animals. I mean, it doesn't have to be some grand, big, buying animals from a testing lab. Like, Simple things like if you have colony cats in your neighborhood, get them fixed. Find a local TNR shelter or a TNR group and have them trap, neuter, and return them so that they're not overpopulating and feed them, you know? Because there's everyone says, oh, they're fine, they'll eat mice. There's not, there's not that many mice, you know? Cats outside live on bugs, like 90% of their diet is bugs. So find a good shelter or a cat cafe or someone you believe in. If you don't have time, if you don't have money, you go all the way down the list find people like me, Sterling, and just put them on your story. I, I did a post this week, you know, about, hey, we're trying to raise money, here's the animals. If you have 200 followers, that's 200 more people that could see it who might have 100,000 followers that will share it, you know? Like, just that little bit can make a huge difference. So, it's not that you have to spend a ton of money. There's always something you can do, always. So, we are drilling into half iron or half inch uh, red steel. And we had to get some insane drill bits, but now we are in business. Oh, that's a good sound. Yeah. That's not going anywhere. We're golden. So worried about drilling into that steel, and now I just made that steel my... Well, I'm not gonna give you something you're gonna have to edit out, but you know what I mean. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is so good. You see how easy that went in? Oh my goodness. It's kind of embarrassing how much that does it for me. This is, woo! So I only really have three days to build this entire wall all the way across and drywall it and paint it and I mean, and it's just me. It's just me. It's me and Cruz, my awesome camera guy. The closest Lowe's is 20 minutes away. So anytime I need a drill bit, you know, that breaks or anything, it's, it's a 40 minute out of my time. But you know, luckily I've got all the motivation I need right here. I mean, we got these kitties. Once I build this space, they can run around. Like me building this space gives them place to play. Uh, we have, you know, the poor little beagles in here that are looking for space. Like I'm doing everything I can. I'm going as fast as I can, but I'm one guy. Let's see how we did. That'll do. Brought to you by Celsius, the only thing keeping me going. Celsius, pay me. I'll have my assistant send you an invoice. No, craftsman! No! This is to hold it up in place until I uh, come through and actually bolt it down.
So not only am I working on building this wall, but there's also a barn kitty that they set a trap for. Um, I moved it over to where he was looking for food, but this kitty is going to get TNR'd at some point while we're building this wall. Up in the top corner, I don't know if you can see it. It's a black kitty. That little shadow, that little kitty's going to get trapped. So I'm going to add some uh, Nabachuru. They donated a bunch of this. Cats are obsessed. I'm going to pour it leading into the trap. We're getting that kitty by the end of the night. You know, I grew up loving animals, and I was like, I either want to be a zoologist or I want to be an actor. So I was pursuing acting and modeling. I decided to go that route. And then just, I ended up getting cats in LA, and I started doing social media for my acting. Did videos with my cats that kind of went viral, and I just kind of leaned into it. And then once I started having fun, making fun videos, I realized like, oh, I have a following and people will help animals if I put them up on my page like that need adoptions or donations. And then I met my buddy Sterling the Trap King who does all rescue all the time. He just kind of showed me like, hey, this is trap new to release. This is um, all the rescues like this is how, and I just learned so much that I was like, man, I gotta, I need to lean back into this. Like I need to help out. Like I didn't realize just how bad the problem was with cats living on the street and rescues and how desperate they were. I kind of was just like, I think most people were there. Yeah, the city funds all the rescues and they're good. It's not the case at all, you know? And so now that I've learned how bad it is, I've really leaned back into the rescue side. Um, I'm still wanting to act. I'm still loving making fun content and all that, but I want to use my platform now to help out, you know, animals and cats and dogs and the people who are dedicating their lives to, to saving them. I mean, none of the boards are very straight, but yeah, it's got a bit of a bow to it. That's right, well, crank it out later. I'm gonna need a lot more two by fours and a lot more everything, but it's a good start. I have to get to this beam. So, I'm gonna need quite a few more. <laughs> well, it is the end of day three, 7.33. Not bad, not bad since we got here a little after like nine. So, this is how far we are with the new wall. All of the framing is drilled into the steel. Um, I'm getting the, the framework done. I still have to do the in-between post. Build that out, I have to put the door back in. And then we have to make a, a bow and we have to start the wall all the way here. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get it done, but I'm gonna keep trying. So it's all I can do, you know? The more I can get done, the less we have to hire for somebody. So I'm just gonna keep going as fast as I can, but we'll see what happens. I just took a break from working on the wall because I wanted to show you guys how much some of these brands donated. So this Ruva sent 26 pallets, 26 pallets of food. You have Cadet who sent an entire pallet of dog toys and dog treats and cat treats. You have Catalyst who sent two pallets of litter. All these brands, I'm gonna list all these brands, 18 different brands donated to make this possible. And it's just insane. Um, I know I, I sound like a broken record. I keep talking about it, but the extent, like hundreds of thousands of dollars for the supplies, that's crucial. Um, I think people need to look at the list of brands and just support them because they're good people. Support Beagle Freedom Project, support your local show. Just the problem's bigger than you think it is. So just find ways to help. Again, I just wanted you guys to see the amazing donations that these brands uh, donated. Like, all of these brands have sent thousands of dollars worth of supplies. It's amazing. We have Jackson Galaxy sent stuff. We have Pet Green Streets. We have Veruva with 26 pallets of food. Pet Kit, Pet Libro. Uh, they sent a bunch of cat towers. I just put one of the cat towers in there and they're fighting over it. So now I need to build the rest of them. Uh, we have Pawai Water Fountains. We have uh, Zeus Duo with a bunch of dog toys. I mean, there's just so much stuff, Catalyst Litter. Uh, there's 18 brands that I reached out to and they said, you know what, we got you. Uh, we have Veterinary Formula. They sent a bunch of shampoo and stuff so we can get these animals clean. They're just filthy. We need to get them cleaned up. There's so much, I'm so overwhelmed, but this is amazing. All of the brands are gonna be listed below. 
Couldn't have done it without Beagle Freedom, and I definitely couldn't have done it with all the brands. So thank you guys, this is amazing. Now it is time to get back to work because I only have two days. So a day and a half at this point. So, but yeah, now I'm gonna go and build cat towers because we have uh, 15 of these and all the kitties need them. So I'm gonna start putting these together. So I've already done one of these, so I don't need to read the instructions now because now I know what to do. So I'm hoping this one goes about twice as fast. Oh, uh, this is from Pet Libro. Pet Libro sent uh, a bunch of towers, which is amazing. Uh, yeah, this tower is actually kind of amazing. It's all like locking technology, so it's like there's no like screws or anything. You just you clip it in, you unlock it, and you slide it into place. It's it's wild. It makes it so much faster. I just love where cat toy technology is going. You know, everything is just so much more streamlined. I've put one in the cage and then the animals next, or the kitties next to it started reaching over to try and play with it. And then I felt like a jerk because I didn't give them one. So now I'm gonna try and build as many as I can. Honestly, I think once we move into the cat cafe too, uh, I think we can attach these to each other and we can build them higher, which is gonna be really cool. Okay, we're gonna distribute some of these that I've made from Pet Libro uh, to some of the cats that don't have towers. Because I put one in earlier and then they all got jealous and now I feel bad. You guys ready? Ready for a little enrichment? Don't you try running out though. They're already playing on it and I can't even. Here, you guys can sit right next to them. Look at them all on the towers. Talk about enrichment right there. Look at that. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, we're not. We're not going outside. We're staying in, and we're getting the fun brought to us. The fun is being brought to you. There you go. You don't have tower. Yes, baby. I know. I love you too. You know, what? I'm gonna bring this to my little girl in here, cause you're being so sweet. Yeah, you're so sweet. Oh. This is really a two-person job. There you go. I'd say that's a yes. I got one more tower to give out. I don't know who to give it to. You. You've got nothing. Yes, you got nothing. Come on. Literally having to pick and choose who gets enrichment right now, and it sucks. Well, I'd say the towers are a success. But next on the to-do list is build the bigger litter boxes. Okay, so it is my last full day here at the shelter. I leave tomorrow. Um, tomorrow, I'm just stopping by to pick up peaches and take peaches home. Um, but right now, I'm trying to make this place, trying to clean up. I made a bit of a mess. Also, good news, in the night, we caught uh, that kitty, that barn kitty that's been wandering around. Uh, the Waruva worked. So she's in the trap over there we're waiting for. Uh, one of the ladies here is gonna let her live in her home. So as soon as she gets here, we'll transport her, get us some water and uh, take care of her. But yeah, it's gonna be a cleaning day. But the wall looks pretty good so far. I'm happy with it. Uh, I also talked to the guys building our gate and they're down to take over for me, which is such a relief because I, I was freaking out that I wasn't gonna get this done in time, which obviously I wasn't, there's, there's just no way. But they're gonna take over, they know the vision, which is super exciting. So they actually have a team. For this space in particular, I think the end goal is it to be a fully functional cat cafe and sanctuary, you know? They wanna be able to pull animals from other labs and bring them here. And we wanna have the space, we wanna have the funding, we wanna have everything set up so people can come and visit, you know, make this a tourist attraction, you know, because that brings attention to it. That brings money that they can then rescue animals. I mean, we have six pigs out there that were rescued from a testing lab that they brought. They've got bunnies that were from a testing lab. You know, the bigger this place grows, the more they can pull animals from everywhere and, and rescue animals. So I don't know that there is an end goal. I just know eventually we want this place to be fully functioning so we can do more. But there's never gonna be an end. It's just gonna be, we wanna do more. Um, but now, one thing I can do before I go is make uh, 15 litter boxes 
So the cats, because right now they're just in these little tin pans. So I'm gonna make a bunch of actually good big cat litter boxes. So you use the heat gun, because if you just cut plastic, it uh, cracks. So you put the heat gun on, it actually cuts through like real easy. Yeah, like butter. There we go. Oh, let's see that side. Now you have to heat from the other side. You kind of gotta, you gotta cut quick. You know, you gotta strike while the iron's hot, so to speak. And there you have it. Much better litter box. One down, 14 to go. Stay tuned. Can I steal this? Oh, somebody peed on this instead of, oh my gosh. This is why bigger. We're gonna take that outside and spray it. Is it like dripping through the bottom? No, okay, we're good. Catalyst. Here you go, babies. Yeah, you're getting one too, don't worry. Who's ready for an actual litter box? So I, we're making this a little bit better, but it's not gonna be better, 100% uh, better, until they're in a home. So this is all temporary, just temporary. That's why we need you guys finding us adopters. I can only do so much, you know? I can only reach out to so many people and post so much. See how they can actually dig and bury their stuff? This is what they were using for scale, okay? Not okay, not okay. Oh, look at you, so much better, so much better. Every cat now has a good litter box, and look, they're all using it. What a big surprise. It's my last day, I gotta, I gotta keep going. I gotta get as much done as I can. When we give them, uh, they give the cats and the dogs a bunch of the stuff that we come in, it, it's crazy to see the light switch of them realizing like, oh, this is for me. Uh, even simple things like litter boxes. They had these tiny little metal tin litter boxes, which is not big enough. And I went through and made them. I don't know if you can see the big tub litter boxes like cats should have. And they actually started digging and playing and like, all of them within 10 minutes of me putting them up, used the litter box and then went and buried their stuff and it's like, they finally got to be able to bury their feces, which is such a simple thing. Give them space to use the litter box. And they didn't even have that. So it's amazing seeing them just get spoiled a little bit. They deserve it. I am handing out a bunch of Yao catnip toys. They sent me a bunch of toys and I'm going to hand them out to all the kitties. Oh, what do we got here? We got this little butterfly. Never had catnip before, have you? You never had catnip before, have you? So these ones are, looks like little fishies. Little fishies. You guys want some kitties? You want some little catnip yows? Little catnip yow toys? Oh, you want attention so bad, I know. I know, I'm giving you catnip toys. Oh, look at that, that one loves it. Yeah, does that smell so good? my last day, everybody gets spoiled today. Oh, and I absolutely am giving a heart to Miko. Miko, come here, come down here, Miko. Miko, come down here. Miko, I got this for you. Yeah, it's fancy. I see you, baby. Oh, man. <clears throat> we are getting all of these cats adopted at some point. I'm just saying. I don't care if the cat Cafe ends up being empty for a little bit. That's a good thing. Oh, look, look, they're figuring it out. It's taken them a minute, but they're figuring it out. Well, this is week one of probably a couple of years worth of work. Uh, I didn't expect this project this year. It came out of nowhere, but yeah, we're off to a great start. This week has been long. Uh, waking up 7 a.m. and finishing here at like 8 or 9 o'clock at night working, but I'm excited to see where it goes. So if you're at home, keep an eye out. Follow me, follow Beagle Freedom Project, follow Nathan the Cat Lady, and keep seeing where this goes. And when the cafe is open and the sanctuary is ready, plan your trip to Oklahoma. We're about 40 minutes outside of Tulsa in Nowata, Oklahoma. So come check it out.